Don't nobody care about you, dog. They don't. They got their own. They got their own thing to worry about. They gotta take care of them. Don't nobody. Ain't nobody worried about you. It is your responsibility to save yourself. There cannot be no more wasting time depending on somebody else to come and save you. It ain't gonna happen like that. I'm gonna tell you from firsthand experience. The dreams of somebody coming to save you, somebody coming to look out for you, somebody to throw you a bone, that does not exist. That's a fallacy. That's storytelling. That's telling stories. Don't nobody care about what you've been through, your story, what you overcame until you made it. It's facts. I can't tell you the amount of times that I was sitting up on the, on the curb outside of the studio and I'm sitting there, I'm looking up at the stars. I was like, yeah, we gonna make it. Like they gonna hear what we making and we gonna make it. The whole, if you build it, they will come. No, you gotta build it. Then you gotta bring them to where you built it at. And then you gotta sell them to what you built. That's how it works. I care about you, which is why I'm telling you this. But I also don't care about you. And don't nobody else care about you. Think about all of the people that you think supposed to be hitting you up to check in on you. And how many times you hit them up. Think about all the people in your circle. How many times have you reached out to them for a check-in? No, yo, this is what I need from you. I'm talking about like a real life check-in. How many times have you done that? But you sitting there thinking that they supposed to do it to you. What do they owe you? They don't owe you nothing. I'm speaking to you, but I'm speaking to me. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of time spent dreaming, which is healthy. But there is an unhealthy amount of time that is spent dreaming about where you're supposed to be at instead of working about where you're supposed to be at. I can't let you go through life thinking that somebody is coming to save you. That'd be wrong of me to let you think that that's what this is. You have to make yourself matter to them. What a value are you giving to them? I used to sit there. I used to dream. Yo, what I just put in, somehow they're going to hear it. Somehow the labels are gonna hear it, or somehow the people are gonna hear it. They gonna come find me. And once they find me, it's off. Dead wrong. That way of thinking, wasted years. I had to go and get it. I had to learn how to produce. Because the thoughts of a producer who wanna equally work with me how I wanna equally work with them, it doesn't exist. I had to go and figure out how to engineer my own music. Because the thoughts of an engineer who wanted to work off the love, off the strength, does not exist. I had to learn how to mix my music. I had to build my studio. You have to put in the work. Nobody is coming to save you. And when you think about it, that's a beautiful thing. It's a gorgeous thing. You know why? Because that means that it's on you and you can control what's on you. That's a beautiful thing. You can control that. It's depressing when you think about you had to control somebody else. If you got to wait on somebody else, dog is supposed to get here. Waiting on them is supposed to get here. That's depressing because you can't control them, but you can control you. That's beautiful. Think about all the artists that you wish were put on. And you could think about this in any field, any facet. Think about your, your CEO who's supposed to put you on. Think about your coworker or your manager who's supposed to put you on. Think about how they're thinking about putting themselves on. They're not thinking about you. You not even thinking about somebody who's below you. So why would they think about you? You trying to get up, they trying to get up. It don't even make sense. But you want them to look out for you. How? No, hustle, make it work. How many days we got left? I don't know how many days we got left. I don't have no dates sitting around because I'm recording on my phone. Hey, learn this lesson before 2022. Learn this lesson because 2022, that's for you. 2022 is save yourself. We saving ourselves all 2022. You know what I'm saying? 22, all summer 22. Disney had us messed up. Ain't nobody coming to save you. The locks, I could put them out the window as much as I want to. Ain't nobody climbing up these. I ain't gonna let them climb up these. Ain't nobody climbing up these to come save me. Jump out the window. You gotta do it yourself. Figure it out, let's do it. Whatever, whatever facet, whatever business facet you in, let's do it. The shirt's not gonna sell themselves. The box is not gonna move themselves. The CEO not coming down to look out for you. You have to make yourself matter to them. You gotta go and get it. I love y'all. It's Yeshi, Mr. Royalty himself. I love you. Blessings to you. What's happening, Royals? It's Yeshi, Mr. Royalty himself. Thank you for sliding on my channel. I appreciate you. You a blessing. Go ahead and hit that like button and the subscribe button. 
and that little notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop some raw tea, okay then? You feel me? And then please go ahead and follow me anywhere at Yeshi Royal. That's Y-E-S-H-Y Royal. Anywhere. You a blessing.